Hello guys, Damien Jones here again for you today and today I'm feeling fed up I'm feeling really fed up about things many things really but one thing in particular that is really getting me down at the minute is the strikes with the binmen <clears throat> for Brighton and Hove Council yeah now, they've spent the past two weeks not collecting anybody's bins, right? And as a result, we've even made the news. Yeah? Now, this is supposed to be a Green Party-run city. What a fucking laugh. What an absolute joke. Yeah? Because of these lazy, and I'm going to use colourful language in this, you know, so YouTube can, you know, back off, right? This isn't aimed for kids to be watching, right? This is an adult grievance, okay? This was supposed to be run by the Green Party, right? Brighton and Ove, yeah? What a joke. They've created, if anything, they've you know, they're not doing anything to alleviate this problem. It's been going on for the past two weeks, and as I understand it, from October the 21st onwards, they're going on strike again for something like another two weeks. Right? Now, everyone's wearing masks at the minute anyway because of the COVID, right? Well, you don't have to wear them in the streets anymore, but... Everybody out in Brighton that I saw today, because I just took a trip up there in a cab, I uh, needed to drop something off in Brighton. And um, I've never seen bin bags, refuse, rotting food, filth piled so high in all my life. And this ain't the first time our lazy ass binmen have decided to go on strike because they, I don't know, don't get enough toilet breaks or. You know, the I think this time the the whining about the shifts. Hello, they should be grateful they've got a fucking job, yeah. Personally, if I was in charge, once this is all over, I'd sack the lot of them, yeah, for gross misconduct, yeah. This is what I've seen in Brighton today. I've seen. <clears throat> Between 8 to 12 foot high piles of trash. And they're probably about 16, 20 foot wide in circumference. Trailing all over the pavements, all over the streets. The stench is unbelievable. Yeah? You know, this is no joke. There's, I mean, don't get me wrong, right? I mean... Let's have another go at the Green Party, right? Um, it's no secret, to me anyway, that Brighton in, in particular... Oh, look, it's on the news now. Oh, surprise, surprise. It's no surprise to me that Brighton has a rats problem as it is, because I've seen it for myself in broad daylight. And this is before any bin strikes, yeah? I can recount one time... I was sitting in the Pavilion Gardens, right, that's the Brighton Pavilion, yeah, you know, that was owned by George III back in the day. Uh, beautiful building, beautiful gardens, and you get a lot of people there, you know, a lot of visitors and stuff to the place, and you get all sorts of people using the green there, you know, sunbathing, having picnics, playing with the kids, all lovely. Well, I was just sat outside the Brighton Pavilion. Uh, I was just back at the museum section uh, one day. And as I sat there, I saw not ten foot away from me, right, the hedge in front of me was literally, um, it was moving. And this is in broad daylight. And six foot to the other side of that, there was a group of toddlers playing, completely unaware that the hedge was absolutely 
teeming, and I mean, I'm not exaggerating, I mean teeming with brown rats, yeah? And now this is before any fucking bin strike, and this isn't the first bin strike we've had in this place, right? They're expecting people, right? <laughs> this is also uh, not just people with cars, right? Uh, what, what, what they're supposed to do is anyone's guess. What disabled people are supposed to do with their bins is anyone's guess. But what these cheeky bastards in the council are expecting people to do is to basically fill their vehicles with the trash and take it the tip. Is this what they pay the taxis for, right? And, and worse still than that, I mean... You know, what about disabled people? What about elderly people? What about people that don't have vehicles? What about people that live miles away from the nearest tip? I mean, Brighton and Ove is a big place, yeah? It's a big place, right? And um, what are they expected to do? Don't their taxis count? Why hasn't the government stepped in here? Why hasn't Boris Johnson got off his arse, Yeah? You know? But back to today, that, that that's Brighton and Hove normally, right? Yeah? Today, I mean, I'm looking at it right now on the news screen. Do you want a quick look? Look what we're seeing on our TV right now. Uh, can you see that? Now you know I'm not exaggerating. Just look at this. Look at this filth. Literally, as I say, between 8 and 12 foot high and 16, maybe 20 foot wide piles of trash everywhere, right? I mean, I'm not even going to listen to what crap they're saying about it. So let me put you back down, right? I'm not even going to listen to what crap they're saying about it on the news other than that everyone is completely disgusted, Yeah? Let me straighten you up a bit. Speaking as a resident, we've had enough, right? I don't care about your negotiations, about shifts or whatever the grievance is. I don't care. Why aren't they getting other people in to clean this mess up? It's an absolute joke, you know? There's filth, there's, I mean, outside the restaurants and stuff, there's a fortnight's pile of rotting food, and as you can imagine, the rats have been at it, the seagulls have been at it, the crows, the magpies, the foxes have all been ripping it open and spreading it all over the street, you know? Even the bloody tramps, even the bloody meth heads and the bloody crackheads uh, are sitting there as if to say, oh, this isn't a good enough street to shoot up on anymore. That's how bad this city has become because of this, right? Now, we're supposed to be run by the Green Party, this council. I won't be voting for you. And what's more, I won't be voting Conservative, right? Yeah, See, seeing as uh, they just think they can put our taxis up again, uh, that excuse this time is the the fucking COVID, yeah? Uh, Boris Johnson, where is he? Somewhere in Spain at the minute? On, <laughs> on taxpayers' money? Yeah? Probably giving himself a fucking pay rise. Whereas those lot that work our bollocks off, you know, have to pay more tax and insurance. It's an absolute joke. It wants cleaning up. Right away. I mean, why don't they call the sodding army in to clean it up? Not that it's their job. Why don't they get these lazy arses off the picket lines and out there and do their damn job, which is what they are being paid to do? Yeah? Anyway, that's me. I've got it all off my chest now. And I'm going to share this on Facebook. And I'm going to share it on YouTube. And anybody that watches me, or anybody that lives in the local area, right, that might just happen to see this, do a video of your own. Get it off your chest, yeah? They should call this Rant Tube, yeah? And I think it's, I think there's enough to rant about lately, yeah? So, 
anyway that's me a bit different from the usual videos i know but this has been doing my head in this as for like the past two weeks you know i'm sick of it i'm absolutely sick of it anyway that's me i'll see you on the next one hopefully with happier messages bye and thanks for watching